You are watching Travel World Online. Seychelles paints the perfect backdrop for Sabyasachi's first ever destination wedding collection, Nirmaya Retreats Backwaters and Beyond Kumarakom. Announcement of the finalists of the first global gastronomy tourism startup competition. WTTC launches task force to tackle human trafficking. Ito gave farewell to Gaur Kanjilal and welcomed new chief operating officer at Ito. An exotic and pristine destination Seychelles offers mesmerizing backdrops for photo shoots and makes for an ideal location for larger than life celebrations. The destination provided a perfect backdrop to showcase an enchanting white wedding setup with Miss Manushi, her handsome groom and the bride stripe all dressed and styled by Sabyasachi. The association also provided an opportunity to showcase local talent with one of the bridesmaids being a Seychelloi model. The photo shoot was conducted on gorgeous untouched beaches of the luxurious Four Seasons Resort Seychelles at Desrocase Island, private island resort, who came on board as a location partner and further up the ante of the collaboration. Reliving her experience in Desrocase Island, Ms. Manushi Chiller said, Sabya has always been special to me. He is an iconic designer and I am proud and humbled to have gotten opportunities to inhabit his breathtakingly beautiful creations. Niramaya Retreats has added another property to its portfolio of awe-inspiring destinations, marking its third retreat in Kerala. Nestled on the banks of the famed Lake Vembanad in the Kerala backwaters in Kumarakom, Niramaya Retreats Backwaters and Beyond is now open for bookings. The newest Niramaya will provide its guests glimpses of an authentic insight into the local Keralan life while instilling a sense of peace and wellness through its natural landscape and a range of wellness offerings. Set amidst 8 acres of lush tropical gardens, the retreat houses 27 luxurious villas designed to maximize the glorious views of the lake. The World Tourism Organization UNWTO and Basque Culinary Center BCC, with the support of Promperu, have announced the finalists of the first global gastronomy tourism startup competition, which recognized disruptive, inspirational projects having made an invaluable contribution to innovation in gastronomy tourism. The five selected startups will present their pitches to investors, gastronomy tourism experts and sector stakeholders within the framework of the 5th UNWTO World Forum on Gastronomy Tourism San Sebastian, Spain on 3rd May 2019, where the winner will be selected by a jury. The World Travel and Tourism Council has announced the formation of a global task force to help prevent and combat human trafficking, an illicit activity that affects 30 million victims worldwide and relies on travel networks to operate. On the formation of the task force, WTTC President Gloria Guevara commented, Human trafficking is a devastating widespread and a critical issue that unfortunately relies on tourism networks to operate. As a sector, we must do everything in our power to help eradicate the problem so that people may move freely and safely across the globe, but never coerced. As an industry, human trafficking is worth $150 billion annually and contributes heavily to modern slavery in which 40 million people worldwide are entrapped. One quarter of trafficking victims worldwide are children or 5.5 million. Meanwhile, 19% of victims are trafficked for sexual purposes, which makes up 66% of the illicit income generated, according to figures from the International Labour Organization. Mr. Gaur Kanjilal, after serving Aito for 14 years after retiring from Department of Tourism, Government of India, Mr. Rajiv Mehra briefed about the meeting. In today's Aito luncheon meeting, the first thing was that we had to bid farewell to Mr. Gaur Kanjilal, who has served with uh, Aito uh, for about uh, 14 years after his retirement as DDG, Ministry of Tourism, Government of India. After a long evenings uh, at Aito, we bid him farewell today. At the same time, we welcomed Mr. Rahul Chakravarti, ex Fiki Tourism Committee who has joined as CEO of I2 from 1st April 2019. Apart from the above, um, other things discussed were the MOT fam trips rates, which have been revised by the Ministry of Tourism. 
and the same have been circulated to the members. Um, also details were given for the ITM 2019 being held in September this year with uh, various uh, associations dealing with uh, various items like ITO looking after the the buyers committee. Um, we are still awaiting reply from the government of India for our MDA scheme and amendments to the MOT recognition. The you are watching Travel World Online.